Okay, I'm on my way out now to this uh, Bortel 2 dark location, about one hour drive from, from home um, in the southern part of uh, Dalsland. So it's a uh, great spot, pretty dark and uh, pretty close also from home. I've been there a couple of times already, uh, but now it was uh, it was in late September. But uh, uh, finally, it's uh, clear sky again, and uh, I hope it will stay so for a couple of hours at least. So um, that will be fun, and uh, it's. Uh, now it's minus four degrees Celsius, so not that cold. Um, it will probably drop uh, to my uh, about minus ten degree or something like that tonight. But uh, uh, overall, pretty pretty warm temperatures, and uh, that's one uh, great thing with doing astrophotography down here. It's uh, reasonable dark and uh, it's also uh, not that cold either. the spot here. You can see it's a nice opening here also. And uh, the sun is uh, just be below the horizon now so I will uh, begin to, to put up my gear here and uh, connect everything and then wait for it to be completely dark. set up the mount and, and the telescope now and it will cool down for one and a half hour or something before it will be dark here and among uh, some new stuff I have for this season this one is uh, a battery lithium battery uh, 1024 watt, watt hours I think it is so I've tried it a couple of times and it works very good 
in uh, moderate temperatures. I'm not sure if it would work as good as a lead battery in very cold temperatures below minus 20, minus 25, 30 degrees Celsius. But uh, in these temperatures around minus 10 degree, it has worked great. Uh, and I can run it for maybe 15, 16 hours with my, my setup. And now I will just wait for it to become dark. And uh, I will think which target I will aim for tonight. Maybe I will shoot in narrow band the uh, Western Wheel Nebula. I have also some thoughts of a great some mosaic of of the whole Cygnus Loop area. We'll check the field of view with this combination first before I decide which target I will choose. bit bright this head, headlight. Uh, of course I forgot uh, my LED uh, video lamp at home and, and the HDMI cable for my Nikon, uh, Nikon camera and the Atomos Ninja that I used when I when I film. But I have my small DJI here so it will be good for now. Um, begin to see some stars now, so it's still very bright at, at the horizon where the sun went down. Actually, quite beautiful area here. I'm on the top of a small mountain. There's a river running down here also. So now I can see Polaris, so I will <laughs> begin to do the polar alignment. And the sky looks awesome so far, completely clear. Hope, we, hope it will stay so for the night. So I'm in the ASIR here now. <laughs> Check the settings. This is guide main camera. I'll shoot at gain 100. Cool to minus 20 degree. Yeah, <clears throat> now we have some focus on on the stars. I can see them at least, and uh, begin to do the polar alignment. Detected 93 stars. Okay. Now it will rotate. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so now I will start to adjust the mount. Okay, so I'm I'm done with the polar alignment. Total error 
39 arc seconds. So that's good enough. So now I will uh, check the focus, point to a star, maybe something in, in the, the Big Dipper or some major. And uh, then start to prepare the alignment on my target for tonight. So here we have the Western Wheel Nebula. But I think I will rotate, rotate it a little bit. I've done about uh, six, seven subs so far uh, in Hydrogen Alpha of uh, on the uh, Western Wheel Nebula. Uh, the temperature, the temperature has dropped to around minus 12, 13 degrees Celsius, um, but it feels uh, not too bad. It's not really cold, but I put put on my down pants. Anyway, right now I feel almost as I used to, to do when, when I'm up in, in the north doing astrophotography. Well, we can take a look at some subs. Guiding, well, not best ever, but quite okay. So well so here we have uh, oh. they look uh, for what I can see here on the screen they look uh, Pretty good. Maybe I will only shoot hydrogen alpha and oxygen three tonight, and maybe some uh, RGB or a few sulfur two for the star layer. <laughs> Okay, so I used to bring this kerosene lamp when I'm, I go out like this. I think, think it gives quite nice light and it does not disturb too, too much either. And it's easy to adjust also. A little bit cozy. It's a great starry sky right now. I just sit here and enjoy being out here, looking up at the stars. It does not feel so cold either. Tonight I forgot to bring the sky quality meter, but last time I was here I, I brought it and did some measurements. And it's, I got really good values of around uh, 21.40, 21.40. 45 depending on which direction I I pointed at I ran into a little bit of struggle here with my Samsung tablet, it ran out of battery. Um, I think uh, the battery has become pretty bad. Uh, it's an old tablet. I have used it since I almost I began with astrophotography five, six years ago. 
but this is also one good thing with the ASIR because you can then just continue to shoot with with a phone if you have the app installed. Uh, I continue to shoot now with Hydrogen Alpha. I will soon change to Oxygen 3 and uh, when I have changed filter I will eat some sausage also. So now there will be some sausages. And uh, mustard also, of course. Nice <laughs> sausage. And this is the mukbang part of this video. Halfway into oxygen 3. So I think they look uh, uh, very promising. This will be great, I think. So I will shoot for one more hour, Oxygen 3. Okay guys, I'm done for tonight. I've shot more than four hours worth of data. Uh, hydrogen Alpha and Oxygen 3 and also RGB for the star layer. So now I will pack uh, the gear in the car and drive back home again and tomorrow I will begin to process these files and that will be very uh, exciting. And uh, smash the button down there and start to follow my astrophotography adventures. <laughs>